Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and specifically back to the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 6, which was set by um, Sudoku creators from the Czech Republic. This is another puzzle by Yizzy Hedina, um, and this is only a 30-point puzzle, but it's one using a constraint that I think I've seen something like this before, but realistically, this is something new, really. I may have seen something like one puzzle like this a long time ago. Um, if you're a puzzle creator, really go check out the World Puzzle Federation archives. There's some wonderful ideas in there that you'll find, and hopefully these videos are inspiring you as well. Anyway, in the link below, you'll find a link to this puzzle, as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive, where you can find those puzzles. Um, and yeah, let's have a look at the rules. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And there are some pyramids in the grid um, that made of gray cells. For each row above the base of the pyramid, each gray cell must equal either the sum or or the difference of the two gray cells directly beneath it. So for example, if this was a three, and it can't be, but if it was, this would have to either be a five being the sum of those two digits or a one being the difference of those two digits. That's the way it works. I'm going to reset, at least I believe that's the way it works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time. Let's give this a shot. Sudoku is giving me a leg up here. By the way, this is a 30 point puzzle if I didn't mention that. Um, this is a one. So the sum of these would be eight and it can't be so, um, because I can't put an eight there. So this has to be the difference, which is six. This is actually a triple. One, two, three, four, eight. These are three, four, and eight. And this is a pair. One, two, three, four, and eight. So if this was seven and eight, this would have to be a 15 or a one, and it can't be a 15 or a one. So this is a four. If it was a sum, that would have to be 11. So it can't be. So it's a difference, which is three. Excellent. Two and four. This is, if, the, if it's a difference, it's a two. If it's a sum, it's a six. So this is either a two or a six. So let's look at this one. If this was three six, this could be nine as a sum. If it's three six, it couldn't be a difference because the difference would be three. If it's three two, the sum would be five and the difference would be one. So this is one five or nine. Not really helpful. Let's look at this. Three, seven, and eight go into those. There is no eight there. Oh, there's no three in any of those. That's the three. This is a seven, eight. Okay. I do know five is up here, but I'm focusing. Well, if this is six and three, it, this is either three or nine being the difference or the sum. So let's look at these two. Yeah, this can't be a nine because if this was a nine, if this was a nine, nine and nine, the difference would be zero and the sum would be 18. No, five, because this has to be four or eight. If this was a five, five, three, the sum would be eight. 5, 9, the sum is too high. So this is an 8 if this is 5. If this is 1, 1, 3, the sum is 2. So and 1, sorry, 1, 3, the sum is 4. Oh, no, that does work. 1, 3, sum is 4. Okay, so we're kind of run out up here. Oh, 4 makes this the 8. Either of the 4s makes this an 8. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 9. There is no 9 in those. This is a 9, and this is a 6, 7. That puts 9 in one of those. It's not here. Nine is in one of those two. Okay, in here, I need to put two in, oh, this is known. Two, three, four, two, and five. These are two and five. So one, two, three, four, and six go into those. And the six is looking down, making that the four, and that the six. Four is now up here somewhere. Cool. Eight is down here in one of these two. Okay, so this either has a difference of five or a sum of five. If it's a sum of five, it can't be one, four. These would be two and three. Yeah. If it's a difference of five, yeah, I don't know. This is much harder to start. Let's... <sighs> Let's look at what this could be, maybe. Have I missed something up here? I hope. 
think I have. I just don't know what it is. Four is down in one of these two. And four is in one of those. If, <sighs> sum of five would make this two and three. Difference of five, I could use the German whisper knowledge I've got. But I could use, so this would be two and three because I couldn't use four in either of them. So it'd have to be two and three. If it's a difference of five, I could use one six. This would be one, this would be six. Two seven, this would be two. And no, I couldn't use two seven. Three eight would have to be three here and eight here. And four nine doesn't work. So this is only one or three. This is two, six, or eight. Don't know. Oh, this is eight. That's seven. There's seven looking down. Do your Sudoku. How can you have any pudding if you don't do your Sudoku? So this could be one, two, can't be three, four, five, six, or it's only one, two, or six. So if this was a six, this would have to be a one because they'd have to be a sum. So if this is a six, this is a one, because I can't do a difference, or I can't do a difference of six from five. If this is a two, they'd have to be a difference, and this would be three, because it couldn't be seven. And if it's one, they'd have to be difference, and this would have to be four or six. Blast. I'm missing, oh, I am missing something. Eight and eight, this can't be an eight, that can't be an eight, this is an eight, which makes this the four and makes this an eight. And this can't, if this is a nine, well, this is, actually, that doesn't resolve that. It doesn't resolve that because it could be one three with a sum or five nine with a difference. That's mean. Six is down. Oh, that's so mean. So what about this? If it's got a difference of eight, that has to be a nine, and it could be. If it's a sum of eight, I can't do one seven. I could do... T so this is a nine if it's a difference. If it's a sum of eight, I can't do one seven. I could do two six, and I could do six... Well, I couldn't do six two. So this can never be a six. So this is only a one or a two. So that does restrict this because this has to be a difference now. So this can never be a, uh, what did I just remove? I can never put a one in here because this must be a difference because I can't do, if this was a sum, these would have to be negative. But I, I feel like I'm just whittling rather than using clever logic or I'm just failing at Sudoku much more likely. But what to do? Nine in this box is there, which puts nine in one of those two. So these are one, two, five, and six. So five is in one of those two. Two is in one of those two. That's complete nonsense. That is complete nonsense. If this is a one, this is a two. If this is a five, oh no, if this is a one, this could, hang on. How is this a six now? This can't be a six now. Six and three, I either need a sum of nine or a difference of three. This is a two, which puts two in one of those two, but two and three still allows that to be one or five. But it does put two in one of those three. These are one, five, and six. So six is in one of those two. So six is in one of those two, which actually puts six in one of those three. 
because I can't put six here. What can this be? No, that's... This is crazy. Have I got this wrong? These are one, four, five, and seven. Now there's no one there. There's no four or seven there. There's no one there. There's no five there. That's, it's got to be this, but I don't, apart from just pencil marking lots of different digits, because this is one, five, six, or seven, and then this has got lots of options, and then I just have to whittle? I don't understand. Especially considering this was a 30-point puzzle. I've missed something fundamental on this puzzle. I mean, is it? Oh, six here means six in this column is down here. So this is nine. So these have to, they can't have a difference of nine. So they have to sum to nine. And this can't be four, five. So this isn't four. So this is a three, six pair. And I can't put a six there. So this is a three. This is a six. And there's no six there. I still don't think that's easy. There's no six here. So these have to, two, four would sum to six. If this is a two with the difference of six, this is an eight. And if it's eight with the difference of six, that's a two. So this is two, four, eight. This is four or eight only. But then I've got to look at this. This is now a difference. So that's a one. So this is a five. Five. Well, that could still be, no, does that force this? Because this is a difference of four, not a sum. So this is a nine. This is not a nine. I don't think this is easy. Four now is right here, which means this is eight. So eight and six has a difference of two. Five, one and two have sum of three and a difference of one. So this is a three. I've almost done with this. I'm going to redo all of this. Eight and three, it can't be a sum, so it's a difference. That's the five, that's the six. By Sudoku now, that's the five because I've got fives looking into all of those rows and there's no five here. This is a pair, and I can't put an eight there. That's the eight. One, two, this is the three. The eight takes eight out of there. There's no nine here either. By row, that's a two. There's a one in one of those two. I need to put a four in one of those two, except I can't put it there. So that's the four. And these are one and seven. No, one and seven. So this is one or seven as well. And that's the pyramids done. Oop. There's a six in one of those two. The six is looking down saying not there. So that's the six. And this is one or seven. So there's a two and a nine in there. The nine is right there. This is one, two, seven, and that must contain a two. There's no seven there. Seven is in one of those two. So seven is in one of those two. That just works. Except... Where's two in this column now? It's not in any of those. It's not there or there. That's the two. So that's the seven. Which takes seven out of those. And seven by Sudoku is now there, making that the one, that the seven, 
looking across, making that the one, which makes that the two, and that the seven. The two looks up, making that the five, and that the two. The five looks up, making that the one, which looks across, making that the four, and that the five. The seven looks up, making that the six, and that the seven. The six says that this is not the six, so this is the six, and I haven't put a one in this box yet. These, well, there's no five there, but I do need to put a six, and this six is saying it's not there, so this is the six, and I haven't put a one in this box yet. And now I'm just down to a triple, three, four, five. And there's already a five in row two, so this is the five, and there's already a four in column eight. So that's the three, that's the four. And I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. What have I done wrong? Uh, five or eight have a difference of three. Five and eight and two have a difference of six. Two and three have a sum of five. Five and six have a difference of one. Six and three have a sum of nine. Nine and one have a difference of eight. Two and four have a difference of two. Four and seven have a difference of three. Seven and one have a difference of six. Three and six have a sum of nine. Two and three have a sum of five. Five and nine have a difference of four. Is it possible that I've just entered the solution wrong? Because I set these puzzles, I, I entered these puzzles into the grid like a couple of months ago, just by just typing them all in from the solution booklet. Is it possible? Like if I get this to check by Sudoku, like if I, I've got the conflict checker on and nothing is conflicted by normal Sudoku and the rules match. I'm going to check this against the solution that's in the book and confirm whether this is right or wrong um, and go from there. If the solution matches in the book, I may have just made a typo. If the solution matches what's in the book, then I am going to release this video. Thanks everyone for watching. And if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might ask for a guest solver or something. Um, thanks everyone for watching and as always, good luck with your solving. <laughs>